Good morning, aloha ohana. I hope you guys had a wonderful rest. So I wanted to get on here real early and share a word with you guys, give you encouragement for your day, okay? So we're going to talk about a few, we're going to be getting into a few scriptures and we're going to be being mindful of the misleading information that is out there, okay? Scammers, counterfeits, and false signs, okay? Be very mindful out there. There's a lot of people who who make YouTube videos or um, make content and slap on the word of God and attach it to that to for, for clout to um, draw you in. And then in reality, when you get on their channel or their page, it's like an automated thing and it has no it doesn't have the Holy Spirit with it. Not saying that you couldn't be filled by the word of God regardless of who's sharing it. Because God can use anybody for his will. Amen. God can use anybody to fulfill what he needs to be done here on earth. So, we want to what? Allow the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us to and through truth in the mighty name of Jesus. So, we're going to go ahead and check out John chapter 16, verse 12 and 13. Kaya. All right, it is written. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Verse 13, it is written. Howbeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Okay. He will show you things to come. The Holy Spirit is the one who's teaching you, okay? So as I'm sitting here sharing with you in this video and in all my other videos, the Holy Spirit is ministering to me as well as I am sharing this word with you because it is the Holy Spirit that speaks on my behalf, okay? And the blood of Jesus speaks on your behalf. He is the one who has paid ransom for many, for you and I, amen? So we want the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us to and through truth in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So now we're going to go over Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1, okay? And it reads, oh, and it reads, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Okay. Yeah. Diligently. Okay. Diligently seeking the Lord. Being attentive to the voice of the Lord. Allowing the Lord to lead you and guide you, okay? So we're going to be observing. The Lord is calling us to observe all His commandments, amen. To put our trust in Him, amen. Remember, Ohana, the Lord has made you the head and not the tail, okay? God has made you the head and not the tail. All right, we're going to go over now Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13. And it reads, Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Okay. So God sees everything. Everything. The Lord sees everything. Okay. There is no creature that is not manifest in his sight. Okay. He's saying there is. Neither is there any creature, any creature, that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto eyes of him with whom we have to do, okay? So, everything is open. He sees your true essence, okay? Jesus, he searches your heart, okay, Ohana? So, let me just put this out there. Okay, so like... Some of us 
you know our enemies and you know the adversaries and pressing and oppressing us like pushing and pushing and trying to trying to hold us down and try trying to shut us up trying to get us in the corner again um suffering and silence and um trying to keep us from growing in god's grace well i'm gonna tell you right now there is nothing that is out of his sight or out of his reach everything is naked and open okay and that's a good thing okay when you're walking in the light you're trusting in god everything being naked and open is comforting to you because you want god to what bring correction you want god to lead you and guide you to and through truth in the mighty name of jesus okay and when we're walking in the flesh and when we're warring, warring in the flesh, okay? We are not acknowledging God, the fact that everything is naked and open. It's almost like we're walking around with the audacity and not caring, not taking it seriously. We're so rooted in the flesh, in the tangible things and the ways of this world. We're conforming to the world. It's kind of like numbing yourself out from actually feeling and seeing and knowing and trusting in God being sober minded right the Lord he renews your mind the way you think the way you move the way you act the way you speak amen the desires of your heart you're growing in grace I'm not saying you're perfect okay you're not perfect as long as you are here you you can you can come up across against things that are going to be going against what God wants you to do. And you're going to have to pursue the Lord and diligently seek Him and put Him first. Okay? And when you, if you find yourself in a position where you're committing sin or you're holding pride or hate, jealousy, or any type of ugliness, bitterness in your heart, Ohana, I'm going to tell you right now, all you have to do is Exercise your spiritual muscles and surrender it to God. Lift it up to God. Amen. Give it to Him and repent. Give it to Him. Amen. You don't need to carry none of that around with you. Okay? You don't have to carry none of that around with you. The adversary is going to make you feel guilty. Okay? The Holy Spirit is going to convict your heart and reveal to you and show you when you will know. It's still small voice. The Holy Spirit speaking to you will let you know, like, this is not for you. This is not for you. Keep pushing forward. You don't need to say anything. You don't need to act upon this. Keep your eyes fixed on the Lord. Amen. God wants you to keep pushing forward. He doesn't want you to give up. Oh, I don't know, okay? doesn't want you to give up verse four, not verse four but um luke chapter 2 verse 14 and 15 now we're gonna go over right now okay and it reads glory to god in the highest and on earth peace good will toward men verse 15 it reads and it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and seeing this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. Okay. What are they talking about? They're talking about the night when the angels came and ministered to the shepherds and told them where to go and that jesus christ was born okay and in verse 16 i'll carry on and it reads and they came with haste and found mary and joseph and the babe lying in the manger jesus christ okay so how wonderful that is that everything that's the um like a new leaf rolling out or a, a bud slowly blooming Amen. You must enjoy the process of where, where you're at right now within the season. And know that 
as one body in Christ, we, we are all up against the same thing. Not stuff that is, everything that we're going up against is common to man, okay? And the word of God, it says, it is common to man what you are facing, what you are going through, okay? You, me, your brothers and sisters across, overseas, okay? We are all being oppressed and pressed and pressed. But God is our what? Our refuge. Our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. His blood speaks on our behalf. So we're going to pursue Him with all our heart and we're going to push through. Yes, we're not perfect. Okay. But the thing is, is to own up and humble yourself and come to the Lord and to repent. Amen. And to pray and praise and bless His holy and mighty name. Amen. Continue to pray and praise. Prayer is very, very important, Ohana. Please be mindful of the doctrines you are elevating your ears to and the lips that you are allowing to speak to you, okay? Because not all lips is serving the kingdom of God, okay? Not all lips is serving the kingdom of God. People are being clinging to their religion so much that they they got God in a box limiting themselves on growing in his grace because they're clinging to their religion and they're not allowing the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not there. Okay? Because these people is clinging to their religion. And they're clinging to their, their religion so much that they have no they have no fruits. They they're not walking in the light. They're not truly seeking truth. They're just going off of what has been passed on from generation to generation of this religion. But then yet despising those who are actually walking and being led by God. Okay? Because if you weren't so rooted in your religion, then you wouldn't be despising those who are walking in the light. You see? There shouldn't be no hate in there. You'd be walking in the light, being led by who? Not yourselves. Not your idols. Not being led by your doctrines. Not being led by your pastor, but you being led by the Holy Spirit. See, the people are putting their pastors on these pedestals. The Pope, their ministers. These um, motivational speakers, people are putting these people on pedestals and missing out the whole message because all the attention is on that person that's behind the pulpit or on the stage with the mic and everything is coming out of that person's mouth. They take it for that is coming from this person. We want to allow the Holy Spirit to speak on our behalf. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the one who's teaching you. I am sitting here doing this video. It's not I who teaching, but I am a student. I am learning too. I am growing in God's grace as well. And I am mindful of the things I listen to, especially when other people try to share with me the things that they believe. But one thing I find that is so 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 i noticed this cam whenever somebody is not a believer of jesus christ and i sit talking with them and they don't want to let me share what i have to say but they they want to just keep rolling out their mouth of what they believe but then they don't give me a chance to share so what i do is i don't fight to share i just like okay. whatever you can say whatever you gotta say and whatever I'm able to say, come out. And if not, they be on their way, right? Because God doesn't want us to what, debate with these people on what they believe. They can believe whatever they want to believe. They have the free will to believe what they want to believe. When it's all said and done and when it's when it's time, we're going we're gonna to be standing where we, where we belong. And we're going to be facing what we're going to be facing because of what was in our heart not because our title not because of our good deeds we're going to be standing where we're standing because of what the lord has 
seen in our heart. Okay, because Jesus, he searched the reins. He searched your heart. He tries the reins in your heart. You're not going to go by how smart you and how much you know. Or how well you and follow the rules. Or if you're a good person. Or if you never do no wrong to nobody. Okay. Or if you and donate millions and millions of dollars. Or you and help plenty people. Or you and build homes for homeless people. All of those things. Will not have you standing where you're going to be standing when it is all said and done before the Lord. You know, where you're going to be standing ain't going to be relying on all of those things. It's going to be what the Lord has found in your heart. Okay? Remember that. Your bank account, your deeds, your title and all of that. Ain't going to be the reason why you're going to be standing where you're standing. It's going to be what was in your heart when the Lord searched your heart. Okay? Praise God. <sighs> Above all, the Lord asks, He wants us to what? Show mercy. Above. Above it all. Okay? Show mercy. So the Pharisees, what they did, they, they didn't cling so much to their religion and their title that the outside had to look good but the inside was no good never had no compassion no mercy they weren't led by the holy spirit they clung to their religion so much that they were in a box and to them if what others were doing or saying weren't matching up to what their perception was of who God is and his and what they were limiting God to do and they were just going by their list of their rules and if God was acting out of those of what they what they believe then it wasn't true to them and why is that hmm? they made like as if God couldn't surprise them they made like as if God had to stick in accordance within those pages of what they believe about their law okay they added they added and they weren't acting according to the law no they were what worshiping in the flesh okay they were worshiping in the flesh and the evidence of that is because they they didn't deny the son, right? They denied Jesus. They didn't even want to hear him. The very presence and the name of Jesus, they despised him. Okay? The darkness cannot comprehend the light. Okay? The darkness cannot comprehend the light. They were in a box. Okay? They even put themselves in a box by trying to put God in a box. So God had them in this box, but he never forced them in there. They willingly put themselves in there, okay? And they could only operate within that. And God is not inside. God works and is above his ways, his thoughts, his actions, his everything is above our ways. Who are we to put God in a box? Okay? Uh-uh. Be led by the Holy Spirit and allow Him to move within you. Okay? Whenever somebody is sharing with you, you get into the Word of God and you pray. Amen? Get to know God for yourself. Meaning, elevate your ears to the Word of God and get into Scripture. Get in there. Read. So that way, when, you, when you're out and about doing your business, when you're going to work, when you're coming home from work, when you're taking your kids to school, when you're going grocery shopping... Or you're just at home and you're watching a movie or you're listening to it. No matter what you're doing. So that way you will know. Okay. You pray and you ask the Lord. For his discernment. And for his understanding. Okay. Alright. Now I want to read with you guys. Um, John chapter 4 verse 38. Yeah. 48. It reads, Then Jesus said unto him, It is written, 
except ye see signs and wonders ye will not believe okay there are some people that is so stuck in their ways that literally you gotta go around putty knife and and scrape them off from the floor because they're so stuck in their ways they're so stubborn they're so stuck in their ways they don't want to they don't want correction okay they don't want to hear correction because to them they are right okay they are right so when the lord is trying to correct them what happens Telling you what happened. Their heart is weighed down. When God is bringing correction and you're refusing his correction and you are refusing and denying his son, your heart is being weighed down. Okay? You must repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It is written, except ye see signs and wonders, you will not believe. God has shown wonderful things that me and you, we never get to see because we weren't alive or born yet at that time. Like the parting of the Red Sea, okay? The days of Noah, right? Adam and Eve in the garden had so much things that our ancestors have seen and witnessed right there before their eyes. And many of them still didn't believe. But it is written, except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe so why god had to that's why god had to go to <clears throat> take and deliver them out of their suffering when he took them up and brought them out of egypt now imagine like if you only waited for um say you got a flat tire okay let me give you this example thank you jesus say you got a flat tire and you've been waiting for maybe 15 minutes for the tow truck to come. 15 minutes, that's not too bad, right? That's pretty good, 15 minutes, right? And now, let's say now, not 15 minutes. It's, it's taking one hour. Whoa, is it like, okay, the tow truck's supposed to be here, right? We call a tow truck company and they tell you don't worry he's on his way he's on his way he should be there in like five minutes 15 minutes pass by okay so it's hour and 15 minutes now you're really getting irate at this point you're like this guy is gonna come or not you know so you wait another five minutes then finally you see the tow truck coming driving down the road but he drives past you that's not your tow truck that's somebody else's tow truck Okay? That's not even the company, the, the tow truck company that you were talking to that's on coming to you. So you see the tow, tow truck drive right past you. You're like, what? Where is the tow truck? So you call the tow truck company again. You're like, hey, I've been waiting over here for over an hour. It's reaching. It's about to get to two hours. I need to get back on the road. What is happening with the tow truck? If you don't come right away, I'm going to call another tow truck, okay? So, God doesn't want you to be so exhausted and depleted by waiting. Know that you're not waiting in vain. Wait on the Lord. Continue to seek Him. Continue to push through. Continue to persevere in the mighty name of Jesus, okay? God sees you. He knows everything about you going through. Remember now, everything is naked and open before him he sees it okay know that all your all that you go through is working in you building you up amen edifying you okay god is building you up for your faith to grow for you to trust and believe and lean on him more and more and more okay 
Know that the Lord is the one who's he's he's the one who fills you up, gives you the strength, okay? Amen. So what 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 are we gonna do? Are we gonna tell the Lord, oh, since you're taking so long to to help me or answer my prayers or or help me to get back on the road because Lord you're taking so long I'm going to call somebody else instead no <laughs> wait on the Lord amen know that the Lord is being patient with us Ohana okay to so use the time that you have wisely okay to speak life into other people's ears by actually living waters share living waters share your testimony share all the goodness and how good god is amen share the word of god with your neighbors your friends your kikis and pray continue to pray for your kikis continue to pray for your ohana plead the blood of jesus over the very doorposts and windowsills of your home plead the blood of jesus over the very foundation of your home ohana speak the blood upon you upon you are everything. Because Jesus Christ is your everything, okay? Push through, Ohana. Push through. Nothing is impossible, okay? With the Lord, everything. The Lord, you speak it in His name. You ask, you, you knock, you seek, and you continue to pursue the Lord. God, He making the way for you, okay? The Lord is being patient with us. Amen? Okay, so now we're going to go over Mark chapter 13, verse 22. And it it is written... For false Christ and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. Okay. Why are these false prophets and false Christ rising up to seduce you? But who who is behind all of this? Don't be deceived, Ohana, okay? It is the adversary that who's behind all lies, all darkness, all deceit. Okay? The adversary is the one who is behind all of that. So if you are making an effort to acknowledge God and to get into the word of God and read for yourself and allow it to marinate in your heart and you welcome the Holy Spirit in and you repent and you ask the Lord for forgiveness and you forgive others amen and you have compassion and you show mercy you show unto others what you want god to show unto you you do unto others what you want god to do unto you you want god to be merciful upon you what the lord is asking you to be merciful to others the lord is asking you to learn and grow in his grace to to be able to forgive those to let go so you can glow up so you can bloom in his hands. Amen. Be led by the Holy Spirit, Ohana, okay? We don't want to go out there pointing fingers. No. We don't want to be out there with our, our microscope examining our neighbors, examining our best friends, and talking all kind of wickedness. No. What are we going to do? We're going to elevate our ears to the word of God and we're going to pray for those who slander our name. We're going to pray for those who, who uses us none of this is hidden from god all of this is naked and open before his eyes you just found out somebody did you wrong you just found out your best friend has been talking crap about you the whole entire time guess what guess what jesus christ knows everything you've been through okay he has also been slandered then and now yeah, the adversary is working over time to snare you up, to have you fumbling, tumbling, okay? No. You don't want to take no chances out there on your own, trying to do things on your own, out of your own strength. You want to pursue the Lord and put God first. Amen. Glory be to God. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you to and through truth in the mighty name of Jesus. Elevate your ears to truth, and that is the word of God. And the word of God is what, O Hannah? The lamp to your feet. So if the word of God is a lamp to your feet, how will you stumble? You're not. Because you can be led on the righteous path. Jesus Christ goes before you, amen. He's your forerunner. Jesus Christ 
is the Son of God. And He has paid the ultimate price for you and I, for our sins, for our mess-ups, for our transgressions, for our wickedness. Amen. Jesus Christ already made the way, Ohana. He doesn't want you to give up. He wants you to pursue Him with all you got. Amen. He doesn't want you to fall away to these false prophets, false Christ, when they're telling you, Oh, Jesus Christ is over there. He over there. No. We know where Jesus Christ is. Amen. We know where He is. He's not walking in the flesh right now here on earth. Okay? He's not walking on this earth right now in the flesh he did once upon a time but what happened he died on the cross amen for what for our sins and our transgressions where in calvary and then what happened three days later he has risen and before he ascend into heaven what happened he has blessed us with a comforter who is what the holy spirit and the Holy Spirit is what? God's Spirit. God is with us every step of the way. We serve a living God, Ohana, okay? He is very much alive, but He ain't walking around in the flesh, okay? He's not walking around in the flesh. He dwells within our temple, and our temple is a living temple of God. Because why? We are here to be a living example, a living expression of God's grace and of God's glory, and of God's mercy. Amen. Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. Amen. Amen. Okay. Ohana, put aside all pettiness, okay? Put aside all pettiness. I know, I know. You guys, you guys got, I know you guys got people who like nipping at your ankles. Trying to get a reaction. Don't give them no power. You pray and you ask the Lord. Lord, handle these situations for me. I pursue you. I pursue you, Lord, with everything and all that I got. Lord, they're nipping at my ankles. Lord, they got their arrows and their, their bows ready to release these arrows. But I got the shield of faith. Amen. And the shield of faith quenches every fiery dart that is heading my way. And God, what do you do? God turns around for good for you. Amen. Because why? God got you. God is for you. And God loves you. Amen. God loves you. Jesus Christ is the evidence and the proof that God loves you. He is the Son of God. And He died for your sins. He died for my sin. Okay? And for those who believe in Him, what happens? We have eternal life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So let me go ahead and read Revelation chapter 16, verse 14 and 15. And it reads, For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. 15. It is written, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Okay? Real quick, Ohana, okay? Real quick, like a thief in the night. Blesses those who is watching, amen, and waiting, seeking, pursuing the Lord with their everything, amen. So put aside all the pettiness. Don't give them no power. You rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus and you put God first. And know that the Lord is already working on your behalf. Okay. So continue to elevate your ears to the word of God, Ohana. And remember now, it is not a religion. It is about all about a relationship between you and God. And God is who? Our Father. And Jesus Christ is who? The Son of God. And you must know the Son in order to go to the Father. Amen. Jesus Christ is our atonement. Jesus Christ is our bridge. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God. Spotless. Okay. And He died in place for us. 
what we deserve. Jesus Christ has taken upon everything of what we deserve. So those of you who walk around thinking that you never get nothing from God, you right now you're alive and you got air in your lungs, that's the breath of God breathing life into you. You never wake up because your alarm clock woke you up. You woke up because God will pour his love and his grace upon you for you to wake up. But don't only just wake up from your your rest from last night. But wake up from your spiritual slumber. Amen. Ask the Lord for those scales to fall off your eyes. And for your ears to hear him. To be sensitive and attentive to his voice. And ask the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you to and to truth. Welcome him in. Amen. All right, Ohana. Go elevate your ears to the word of God. Stay rooted and grounded in the word of God. And know that Jesus Christ is your foundation. Pursue the Lord with your everything. Put God first. Amen. God bless you. And your Ohana. In Jesus' name. Amen. And Aloha.